All right, everyone, welcome back to GDPG. <laughs> Playing some Lego Marvel Avengers. Oh, no. Oh, God, oh, no, getting shot, no, getting no. shot. I Wait, did not hold on. Walk right into I, have, I have a shield. It should. Yes, it does. Look at me block these shots. <laughs> Help. All right, I just did something. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, no. Oh. I stopped it. Because oh. I'm better than did you, you would have Did you, like, ricochet the shot? Oh, uh, what I did is I ricocheted the shot, then I came over here and I f did things. There's stuff in there, though. Um, yeah, so see how there's a question mark? Yeah. That, that means mean? uh, later in the game when we get someone with a telepathic power, Ooh. we can come back here and they'll get us that thing. Nice. Um, All right, why do those little Avengers logos break? That, dude, that's new. I don't know. Like, those are there to tell us, like, hey, you need a character to do this special thing. Well, no, the, the, the Avengers things are normally tutorial points, it looks like. Oh, wow. Well, okay, so yeah. I don't know if this is for me or for you or for both of us. It's kind of like a Hulk thing. Oh, can I just break this? Oh, I just broke it. You broke it? I done did broke it. I can't tell if I'm doing anything. You're not doing anything. I feel like I'm not. So, okay, here's a question for you. Sure. <clears throat> Oh, I could just go over this. <laughs> yeah, you, that's what flying characters have the advantage of. I can't do that. So now you're stuck Stop on that flying. side by yourself. Oh. That's what you get. I think I was stuck in flight mode or something. I couldn't... Yeah, getting out of flight mode is weird. I think in the superhero, in LEGO Marvel Heroes, it was just... Um, it was just you had a double tap circle and you drop. Um, well, for a second, I know you really can't see my side, but I have a little Captain America shield I can throw in there, and then I'll unlock something. And it's probably unlocking... Yep, it's gonna unlock the laser fence that you decided to hop over. Woo! Thank you! Yeah, I, I actually got... Ahead. I got kind of stuck, I'll be totally honest. I was like, I can't get off of this turret. Okay, so I think I'm you still there. have to do this. Up oh, there you're go. like, you are you are proper stuck, I yeah. see. That's... I just got blown. Uh, I need your shield! Hey, no, come over here. Now, stop it. Just, no, don't do that. Just, uh, you're doing it wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I think yeah. we, we hit circle the guy, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do it. No. Uh, uh let me... Maybe oh, here we just, go. like... Okay, okay, now you hit circle. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll hit circle first. No, get out of here. No, you no. move. You move. So I'll go down here. Okay, now I need you to hit circle on me now. Or shock me to death. Okay, maybe you try going first. Hit circle. Okay, doing it. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for. Uh, I mean, it should just be circle. Oh god, I just blew up again. Up there I go. Okay. Um. Okay, so this turret's being really stupid and dude. Okay, okay, stand, stand in there again, and do your thing. I'm gonna. Whoa! I just, I'm falling away. All right, that did not do the <laughs> desire. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna stand here. No, come back over. You, I, I think we have to get this done. Now hit circle. Nope. Watch me blow up. <laughs> oh we got yeah, this. I think you do have to go first because I think I'm doing the like. Can't do this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Where did we have more time with that? That time it worked. That that's the thing with this game. Sometimes you have to be in just the right spot. And it yeah. can be kind of frustrating. Yeah, it was a little too finicky. I feel like all they needed to do was, like... I mean, aside from be less finicky... Right. <laughs> just, like... Okay, maybe maybe this is what it is. I feel like the icons need to be a little bit larger, and then, like, they need to... I mean, they were showing the circle, right? Right. So I think they just needed to be a little bit more clear on, like... Clarity would help a lot in this game. I mean, even we were uncertain about who should go first. And, like, when I stood up there, it was really hard to see that Thor was being like, I can't, I can't do it. Because I was getting shot. It was like, right. I'm not paying attention to Thor. I'm paying attention to things shooting me. Um, I don't really, I don't know how I would, I would fix that. I think if they just made, like, the Captain America icon above it a little bit larger. Right. So it was, like, very clearly, like, hey... Captain America goes first. Yeah, right. And it looks like they're kind of doing it, but they had the shield on the bottom and then the hammer on top. I saw that too, but that's not intuitive enough. Not, no, no, I, I don't know if that's intuitive. That's my thing. I thought like I would put yeah. the shield on top, maybe, but even then, I don't think it's good enough to warrant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was fine in the end, and I guess co consequence of failure is so low that it's like, ah, did I really lose much? I lost the, the like... It, what nibs? Oh, the, the studs. Stu studs. Yeah, I lost some studs, but it's like ah, uh, it's eh, not that right. bad. It just kind of happened. 
Um, okay, so I was gonna ask you, uh -huh. what do you think about the art of the game? Um, I think it works. I think if there's one thing that these games really do well is creating this Lego environment. Um, but like mixing with realistic. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, do you feel like it, it works well with the like somewhat realistic environment? Because I think so. I think it has this level of fun to it, right? It's just kind of like you're in this real world behind you, but then all of a sudden you're up close into everything. It's just like this Lego mesh universe thing. I, I guess the fair way of thinking about it is that... Whoa. whoa. That was weird. Oh, 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 am I... I oh, you're was, on the outside. I'm flying... Maybe you're supposed to, like, blow things up on that side? That's exactly the noise that dude, should be made. this is awesome. Yeah, dude. The, oh, uh, my God. Yeah, this yeah, is right. Amazing. Oh, my God. Iron Man, you're a beast. Yeah, Iron Man is a beast. I think it's a lot of flying with him, but he's definitely a lot of fun. Okay, so what I was going to say is, I, I guess the fair way of looking at the art is that it's, it's like when you play with Legos in real life, right? Yeah. You're not necessarily restrained to just a lego environment you no. kind of just bring the lego guys wherever you want and build whatever you want it's i mean in real life you mix it with the real world just as much as these games probably do so i i feel like it's it's really not breaking theme too much if anything it makes it feel that much more lego-y right exactly and, and that's how i feel about it you know it's like um i think they make the graphics very clean and sharp as well i think they're very sleek mm -hmm. um this is yeah, definitely I one agree. of those games where, like, I know we've played a lot of games in the past where it's not really about the art, you know, exactly, like, how quality the graphics are. But for this kind of game, that's that's a big staple in these. How good does it look? Yeah. It, I feel like the uh, there's a lot of, like, s visual effects going on. Like, there's these bloom effects with the lighting. Right. And there's a lot of... I mean, really, there's just a lot of great lighting going on. And I feel yes. like the texture quality and, and, and probably the normal maps on a lot of these 3D models... Is it, are, are actually pretty good. Yes. Um, at least when I'm speaking about like Marvel superheroes, which got released back in 2013, it was. I want to shoot in there. I want to break those turrets for you. I think you're supposed to. I think turrets are supposed to get destroyed. Unless I'm supposed to be going up there and destroying turrets. I don't know, but man. I've been down here fighting guys. I, so maybe I, have, I should actually like try and do something, huh? It doesn't seem like I have any control over shooting other than left or right. Well, let's see. I... I have no idea. Whoa, his laser actually curves around. Oh my god, it does. That's super weird. That's not how lasers work, but alright. <laughs> That's how Marvel lasers, that's how Lego Marvel lasers work. Yeah. Just, just don't think too much about it, I guess. I mean, you know, <laughs> Tony Stark is a genius, I'm sure he can yeah, find he just, a way he to he just work. figured out how to curve a laser, that's all. <laughs> so, okay, so you can't hit those turrets, huh? I don't think so, man. I don't know how to get up to those turrets. Not either. to mention the turrets are displayed on your screen. They At are least they're held. I mean, I guess we're sharing a UI, right? But oh, maybe this does something. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that! Good. Hey, would you look at that? Although, from a level design perspective, I would say that that sort of made my role in that whole sequence a little arbitrary. Yeah, it's just kind of like, hey, you're going to blast things. Just look how cool the outside looks. Yeah, it makes me wonder if you were playing this single player, could you switch to Iron Man? Oh, you know, that's a good question. You know, these guys are leaving and, me alone. And, and, you know, it's totally possible that my position here flying around this level could be validated in a little bit as you continue to make progress yeah as they actually continue to do something but i guess i guess my point is is that if they don't have me do something that's critical to like advancing the plot um i feel like it's poor poor use of like cooperative design yeah. you gotta make right, the there uh, we go one turrets down you gotta make everybody feel important you know? right exactly i feel like this game is generally pretty good at doing that but right now it's kind of, it's kind of weird I mean, oh don't i get me wrong the it's... middle turret first okay yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is fun, right? Like, Right, like, clearly you're enjoying yourself. Maybe maybe my role comes into play after you break the turrets, and then I'm like, yeah, no AA guns. Yeah, right? I, this is a really weird hallway. See, see where I'm at right now? I'm in this little weird corridor. That's actually kind of cool, though. Yeah. From a visual s standpoint, I feel like... I guess this is just to build the ladder back up, so that's great, but I just got down here. Hmm. So here's another question for you. Sure, dude, keep asking. Do you think this game is meant more for fans of the movies than the comics? Yes. I th now, they, they do have some characters that are from the comics in here, though. Um, you can get, like, specific characters from the current runs. Like, they do have the Captain America, Falcon Captain America. Okay. They have the female Thor. 
Uh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I'm sure they'll have a skin for the new Invincible Iron Man series that's out right now. No, is it called Invincible Iron Man right now? You know uh, I yeah, I, I'm usually pretty good about this. I'm pretty sure it's Invincible Iron Man. But if anyone watching this knows better than I do, uh, please comment about it because I could definitely be wrong. Yeah. Um, because I'm not really a big Iron Man reader. I like it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. You know, I never got into a lot of the um the like main Marvel heroes. You know, like I got I got super into Deadpool, right? But right. I, I feel like I really liked it because it was very unhinged and kind of off kilter for a lot of Marvel stuff. And that's why a lot of people I feel like flock to him. Um, because I like that unhinged kind of thing. It's fun. And and it's I different. And the humor like resides with me really well. Right. Exactly. Um, but other than that, I feel like. I, I tend to appreciate a lot of the more, like, one-shot or, like, uh, uh, self-contained series. You know, I'll be honest with you, self-contained generally end up being, I think, more cohesive and a little better because they're willing to take more risks. Yeah, and Not, you, you not that the big publishers don't take risks, but it usually ends up being undone through another series anyway. And that way they can actually, like, you know, kill characters and not bring them back and have, like, right. crazy, oh my God. crazy plot lines that, like, stop making sense because it okay. breaks from reality so much. Oh, uh, hey, I might be stuck. You don't look Oh, stuck. no, I'm not stuck. Aha. I see a, a flaming dangling... Yeah, hyper. that was the thing. <laughs> so, like, I didn't see those little bricks that you had to build up, so uh, I was like, oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't know how you know when there are things that you need to, like, build you know, those blocks. You uh, know, to be honest, I've kind of played these before. I'm sure if you're playing, like, single player, you would be able to see it a lot better. That's true. You'll have more screen real estate to see that. I like. Are do they kind of shine? They or? do. They have like this, this pinkish like glow to them. Mm. Doesn't so, work very well with red green colorblind people. Uh, but. No, it really doesn't. But you can tell because the blocks will move around. And there'll be a noise. Oh, okay. They make like a like a like Legos being like thrown around kind of noise. Right. Okay. That makes sense. It's a little bit better. That took me an unnecessary long amount of time just because I didn't realize it was me getting rid of the turrets. Uh, that was my fault. Nuke it from orbit. Yeah, right. See, there's where your thing came really? in hand. Oh, really? You're still really? not done. Really? There it's, we go. That was my whole That was my whole role. I could have done that from the ground. Yeah, right? Century you could have been with me just fighting people. <laughs> I mean, it's probably, you know, it's, I'm sure it looked fun to do the flying mechanics, though, there. I mean, it was fun. I'm not going to um, lie. Also, I like that they kind of, like, broke from the Marvel Universe and went to Lego Universe by putting an Iron Man's head backward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's Tony Stark? Yeah, he just undid it, undressed. So, if you haven't seen a Avengers Age of Ultron, which I know a lot of my friends and a lot of the GDPG people actually have not, surprisingly, uh, um, there this is literally a scene from the movie. Not where he gets into his underwear, but... Okay. I mean, what what's... So What's right now, Scarlet happening? Witch has basically tapped into Tony Stark's brain and has given him visions of the future, possibly, or a future mm. that he sees coming. Take it. Who's that guy? That's Quicksilver. That's her brother. Oh, okay. So Quicksilver's a speedster. You probably see him in the comics looking a little different than this. Yeah, I've, I um, think I've seen more jokes about Quicksilver yes. than actually... You've like, probably seen the oh, hashtag Quicksilver. save Quicksilver. <laughs> um... Struck off the list. Oh, that's funny because the guy, the bad guy in this level is Strucker. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so, he, so here's, here's Endgame, right? Endgame is really great. Um, but they basically tally up all the studs you got. Oh, nice. Oh, um, and, and we share a pool. And we share a pool. And it's not like, they didn't make it competitive, so they don't really, like, show you at the end who got more. Like, you obviously know by the totals and you kicked my butt. Like, and then here, this is that thing I was talking about. So, True Believer, or True Avenger. It was True Believer in the last Man. game. So then, because we got True Believer, oh, okay, it shows all the characters you unlock. So these these are all the characters you can get. Holy hell. Yeah. Do and they all the, have different abilities? And see all the characters at the bottom? Those were all the ones I got for doing the season pass and being a PS4 member. Oh, wow. So That's we, intense. Yeah. Now we get to unlock all of them. And now I don't know if costumes are going to be in separate spots. Oh, yeah, they could just be in the same spots. Because sometimes or same, or, in, the, in the old hmm. game, costumes were um, all together. But it looks like it's not this time. Okay. It looks like it's... Oh, huh. we got Captain Universe for some reason. You know, from an art perspective, like, it's probably really easy to crank out... Is that Stan Lee? <laughs> yes, yeah, so that shows if you save Stan Lee or not. <laughs> you can save him in the levels? You see, you're just supposed to. So, 
for a game level complete, we got one. For getting True Avenger, we got one. Okay. Now, there was no stand to save in the first level, because there was the red X was underneath the red Oh, block I thought that map. meant that we just didn't do it, but I guess it no. would say, like, zero out of one. In this one, well, normally it'll say, like, Stanley in peril, or Stan in peril. Oh, uh, oh I shouldn't okay. have hit continue story. That was my fault. We should probably stop here. Yeah. Um, well, okay. There's we'll, no way we'll, to pause. We'll, we'll, we'll let this play out. I can well, do this. No, okay, sorry. yeah. Okay, so this is the end of the episode. But, question of the day. Um, I don't know. Do you want to ask about the artwork? Yeah, I think so. We should totally ask about the artwork. I think it was a big part of this episode. Yeah. What do you? Okay, so basically, what do you think about the artwork? Do you think that they merge kind of that real world uh, 3D models with the Lego models with like even the Marvel stuff? Like, do you think they, they all merge very well? Or And if they don't, like, what could they be doing to improve that? And if they are, or if you think they are doing it right, what do you think makes it work? Yeah, that's great. Cool. Well, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and yeah, we'll see you in the comments. Yeah, man. Woohoo! Bye, guys.